Are we gonna get any wedding updates? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? <laughs> I feel I do that three four times a good night test a five feel I sort of like you that bitch I do it all that I'm all right with kidding I'm not long as you joking that way for me I ain't got it my bitch skin do it I joke bodies long as you dreaming about me ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now but the truth, I look better under you I yeah, can't lose another episode of keeping up with coco if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications and follow me on instagram at birkin coco you know how to spell birkin and you know how to spell coco follow me on tiktok book a one-on-one -on -one phone call or subscribe to my website coco lifestyle diaries all of the links to all of my other platforms are down in the description below let's try to get your girl to 50k subscribers uh, yeah the title of this video i am doing a life update video i honestly have not been posting on social media like i used to i think it's just because you know at this point i think i've shared all of the information that I have, um, that I have learned over the years, and you know, when it comes to the sugaring, um, dating out, dating for money, some other stuff. We all know all of the stuff that I have kind of tried, participated in when it comes to the whole sugar baby leveling up lifestyle. Um, I'm at a great place in life right now, and I have, you know, helped a lot of women out. Um, and so I don't post as much as I used to on social media because I just feel like it's so repetitive and all the information that I have shared were on my Patreon. If you subscribe to my website, it's on my website. When I do happen to go live, I do share and you know, we'll answer the same questions that girls ask me all the time um, but when it comes to posting my everyday life and going live I don't do that as much as I used to so I wanted to do like a life updated video ask you guys on Instagram to send me some questions so that I can answer for you guys and let's get into these questions let me drink my champagne I start my day with champagne and I end my day with champagne okay Okay, let's get into these questions because I know you guys were going to be asking me personal questions. <laughs> Obviously, the number one question was about my wedding. I think I got like 20 of those questions. Like, when's the wedding date? Have you been wedding planning? Are we gonna get any wedding updates? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? When's the wedding? I have said this and I'm gonna say it again. I am not going to be sharing any wedding activities on my social media platform. I will not tell you guys the date of my wedding. I will not tell you guys what I will be wearing for my wedding. I will not be telling you guys anything pertaining to my wedding and the day that I get married until probably a few months after. So, you guys will know when I get married when I draw the wedding video but it is going to come after everything has taken place and i am going to be having two weddings i'll, I'll share that i'm not going to get into details but as a cameroonian woman i am going to be having a traditional wedding and then after that honestly i'm willing to walk to the courthouse and get married that way but i will be having a white gown wedding like the american traditional wedding as well i think i'm going to separate them i'm not sure yet this is just my thought process of having the traditional wedding one year and then a year later we can do like a destination wedding which would be me with the you know 
white gown and stuff like that so that's just been my thought process I could have it all at once but to be honest with you just the traditional wedding is going to be big enough where it's like I don't know if I want to overwhelm myself and have both weddings and both things happening at the same time like the day after um, so I definitely think I'm going to try to separate them but that is all I'm going to tell you guys when it comes to my wedding I'm not telling you guys the date you guys are going to see photos and video snippets at the end once it's all already happened and we are you know happily married okay can't let my haters clock my activities <laughs> another question that I get a lot is do I want children um, I used to get this question when I used to go live on my Instagram all the time and the answer kind of still remains the same I am not sure at this very moment um, I don't see myself having a child in a year I don't see myself having a child in two years um, definitely not before we get married I saw someone ask me that definitely not before we get married if I do have a child it's going to be something that happens after we get married and this is going to be down the road from now okay I, 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 I I'm talking some years from now um, so we have not it's not a yes and it's not a no because I will be okay I'm not having children um, and I honestly also think I will be okay having a child um, but I don't think I have that huge like instinct of wanting to become a mother right away or anytime soon so the answer still is just in the air another question that I received a couple of times was my real estate license am I still working on that and am I still planning on getting my real estate license and someone asked if I had completed the course yes I am still working on getting my real estate license I have completed the classes I have completed my hours I have my certificate I have sent off my application to take my real estate test or to schedule my test I am just waiting for them to do a background check and to get back to me on if my application has been approved. This might take a few months, so I sent off my application, I want to say um, maybe in January, beginning of January, um, because at that time I felt confident that I was ready to, you know, go ahead and take my test. I'm just waiting for them to get back to me they do have to run like a background check and stuff before they approve the application so that does take a few months so we are still waiting to hear back but once I do take the test I will let you guys know I will not let you guys know like when I'm going to take the test or the month I'm going to take the test but once I do take the test and pass my test I will share that with you guys and hopefully 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 I can have that done before um you know the end of summer speaking of background checks <laughs> a lot of people asked me what was going on with my court case uh, some of you guys may have watched the video some of you guys may not have watched the video it is no longer online i may post it once everything has cleared up um, but a lot of you guys wanted to know what is going on with my court case when I had to defend myself in a situation that ended up with me having to you know go to court I obviously have a lawyer so I have retained a lawyer um, and as of right now I am confident because like I said you know I didn't do anything wrong um, I don't know if anyone has ever been through like court and stuff, but it's just uh, months after months, you know, you go to court, they're like, oh, come back on this day, come back on this day. So it is going to take a long process before eventually it's dismissed and everything is, you know, cleared off. Um, but yeah, everything is going well so far. I'm confident with my lawyer that he is going to be able to you know make sure that I am good and like I said I believe in myself and I know what happened and I know that I was simply just defending myself and so I am leaving it up to 
God, okay, and my lawyer to handle it. <laughs> But for everyone who has been asking and who is concerned, all is well. That's all I'm going to say about that. For the girlies that know what I'm talking about, do not go in the comments, put in anything that's going to incriminate me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> do I still offer one-on-one -on -one phone calls? I do still offer one-on-one -on -one phone calls. They are on my website. I don't have a Patreon anymore, guys. For any of the ladies that used to watch me in the beginning when I had a Patreon and then you haven't watched me for a while, I no longer have Patreon. I was taken off of the site because of a hater because people don't like to see you win. As soon as I moved into this apartment, my uh, penthouse, I had a hater literally the same week. I had a hater I guess goals. I don't know how they did it, but went and reported my Patreon, I guess to the Patreon committee um, or something, and they decided to go through my Patreon and they thought that the content that I was sharing wasn't, I guess, you know, fit for their platform. So they decided to take my Patreon down. And I don't think that I can recreate another Patreon for the girl that asked me if I was planning on making another Patreon. I don't think I can ever recreate another Patreon. So I went ahead and I created my own website. It's called Coco's Lifestyle Diaries. On there, you can subscribe to a tier. I know I haven't been posting much on there for my 20, 50, $100 tier, but I definitely think the girlies that have been booking the one-on-one -on -one phone calls, which is what I also offer on my website, they have been getting a great deal of advice. If you wanna book a call with me, go to my website, Coco Lifestyle Diaries, subscribe. Um, I'm also planning on dropping an ebook. Yes, guys, I'm planning on dropping an ebook. Stay tuned for that. I know you guys had been telling me for a while drop a book, drop a book, write a book, write a book. It is finally coming. I've decided that I am going to be dropping an ebook. I'm not going to tell you guys the name yet, but it is basically going to be a book on helping you level up with your confidence when it comes to picking out the right guys financially, um, you know, freestyling tips, all of it. I want to be on my website under one of my tiers to be subscribed. I have to go on my website. You can just purchase the book. It's gonna be kind of like a notebook where you can write notes and updates on your journey. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be like a level up journal, but also a guide to dating for a purpose. So this person wants to know, she said, hi Coco, wanted to ask you if you plan on permanently moving from Boston one day. Um, one day, <laughs> maybe after my first marriage, you know what I mean? Because I already told you guys I might be getting married like three or four times in my lifetime because at this point it is a business, okay? Um, so maybe after my first marriage, but I, for right now with this marriage that I am walking into, I don't think we are planning on moving um, permanently outside of Boston. His business is, um, you know, mainly in the New England area and he makes a great deal of money here. So it'd be silly for him to, you know, move out of Boston and I can't move out of Boston without my husband, so at this very specific moment with this relationship and this husband no but that doesn't mean in the future i'm older or something that i will not be you know relocating somewhere warm i like you know but honestly i am that person where i think you know i'm at a place where we can have a place in florida and have a place in boston so it's like i can live in both you know, warm and cold weather in the future, if that's what I want. Do I still plan on purchasing a home? I do, I absolutely still plan on purchasing a home. I just don't know which way to go about it because, okay, 
I've been kind of going through this, like I love living in a high rise. I love the windows. I love living in a penthouse. I love the easy access to everything. Like I'm in the center, I'm in the city. Oh, everything is so convenient. And if there's anything that needs to be done, repaired, fixed, it's one call down to the front desk get in contact with the maintenance and they take care of it but at the same time i'm kind of getting into that space where like it would be nice to uh live in a house and have a garage have more space and have the backyard for chanel to run out in the backyard without me having to take her for a walk but at the same time i'm like well i live in boston and like the only way you're going to get like your money's worth when it comes to buying you know a nice huge property would be to move to the birds i don't want to be 45 50 minutes away from the hermes store <laughs> from the chanel store like i don't want to be far from all of my favorite shopping areas my favorite restaurants my favorite bars so i am just kind of going back and forth on what i want to do like we have a place in vermont um and i love going to vermont on the weekends and stuff but like i could not see myself like living in vermont forever you know what i mean um so we go to vermont and ski and then we come back to the city and it's like okay you know so we've also talked about possibly having a place in the city and then also have a house in the suburbs so we don't know um but when it comes to me personally buying a place um, i am kind of working on that for myself um and i'm working on it so i'm not going to talk about it much but yes there is still a plan on purchasing a home um and just kind of having that as like my own investment and stuff like that so you miss hunting if so how would you still use your skills to teach other um i don't miss hunting because to be honest with you i don't have to go hunting like i just men always hunted for me i just put myself in the space in the place you know what i mean um i never was like you know like hunting but i guess hunting would be like i knew that if i went out and hung out in certain places that i was gonna attract guys um so no i don't really miss it because i still go out and i still get hit on even though i have a ring on my finger you know um but like i said i'm in such a good space when it comes to my relationship and like financially and you know getting everything that i want so i'm not really paying these guys any attention it would take a lot like it would take a lot like a lot to get me to be like okay let me walk away from the relationship that i'm in um to you know be with somebody else like they're gonna have to come like i'm saying rose royce type of energy you know what i mean like hello <laughs> um yeah like you can't come with lesser than and think that i'm going to leave my man for you or even just you know cheat or you know play around or something like that so i don't go hunting but guys do still hit on me when i go out because i don't go out with just him i go out with girlfriends i go out by myself you know um he works during the day i might go have lunch during the day and so guys still try to talk to me um and i just you know i will have a conversation but i don't give them like my number i don't go on dates with them i don't try to see them um, or try to get them to spend money but you know i will maybe have a little conversation to see if their money is wrong and you know what i'm saying just to kind of see where they are um financially if it's even worth a conversation but i miss being single sometimes i miss being like oh, okay like let me just take a flight and go here let me just go here let me do this let me do that like you know obviously in a relationship you have to be mindful of your partner and you have to kind of you know not ask permission to kind of let them know like hey these are my plans this is what i'm planning on doing and stuff like that and like kind of work so that we're both happy um so i do miss that freedom of not having to check if like you know i can do this or you know plan based on his schedule and us hanging out and stuff like that sometimes i miss that but for the most part no i'm happy 
Um, with my relationship, I'm happy that I'm getting everything that I want. Um, you know, financially, life is good. How am I doing that mentally and how do I take care of my mental health? Mentally, I am in a good space. I am at peace. I don't know. I don't really let a lot of things, you know, um, bother me these days, mainly because like I said, I have not really been on social media and pouring myself into social media like I used to. I still do my YouTube videos. I know that I don't have to financially have any worries. Like I don't have to worry about where I live. I don't have to worry about my bills being paid. I don't have to worry about not having any income coming in because I have, you know, my platforms and then I have my partner who's giving me an allowance. So mentally I'm in such a good space and I'm just trying to keep it that way. Um, and how do I make sure that I remain mentally sane? I just focus on me. I like to do spas. I like to go in the tub and relax. Um, I love to be at home and just kind of indulge, not be on social media, just kind of focus on myself, read books, you know, just smoke a little weed, drink my champagne. Um, so that is what I kind of do to keep myself sane. I just focus on myself, focus on bettering myself, focus on becoming a better person and you know just doing all the things that make me happy on the daily do i have any issues with our age gap relationship absolutely not he is not my first um older guy like i said i've been doing this since i was 19 so if at 28 i still have an issue walking out with a guy who was in his 50s there would be something wrong with me um so absolutely no issues in our age gap relationship we go out together i take him to places where it's going to be urban like he takes me to places it's all caucasians we don't care we just vibe he doesn't mind he's not embarrassed to be with me i'm not embarrassed to be with him i find him attractive he finds me attractive we're happy and that's all that matters like who cares what other people think strangers could never make me you know what i mean so um our age gap relationship is working great how is a retirement and being a fiance it is going well it is going well i do not miss the whole life like i mean the professional whole life i do not miss that at all yeah so i love being a one man girly <laughs> i really do um and i always did that's why a lot of my um sugar daddies were clients that i converted into um sugar daddies because it was just easier for me to be more personable and um you know make them my sugar daddies this is this is great like i spend my days going to the spa getting a massage, getting facials, like going shopping, drinking champagne. Like I've said that how many times? Like my life is smooth, okay? I'm literally getting from filming this video and going to go have lunch and it is one o'clock on a Wednesday while my man's working and he's gonna come home and he's not going to care. Are you actually happy now that you have everything that you want? i am absolutely happy there's no perfect relationship out there um but i will have to say that 99 percent of what i need to be in a happy relationship for a very long time i have right now so i am absolutely very happy will we ever see your fiance and you in the video together or more of him yeah no you guys are going to see his hands you guys are going to see a little bit of body shots but like his face and well, no you know this channel is more for me it's not a couple's channel um so yeah no he's never going to be like a full focus on my channel or any of my platforms i know that there are a lot of women on social media that are married or in a relationship and they do share their partners and you know face name everything um and you know i'm happy for those girls but for my partner and for me i just feel like he's not a social media person when i met him he didn't have a single social media not instagram facebook anything um, i think it would be kind of rude for me to then come in and just you know start throwing him out there i think he 
enjoys being able to go out and you know go out to restaurants, bars, hang out with his friends without being recognized by people that are familiar with me because I get recognized in Boston, I get recognized out of the country, um, I get recognized a lot and I can just imagine you know if I was to be putting him out there like that what would happen when he is by himself so I just don't want to open myself up to that what is your next goal for yourself since you caught your will um just to improve my business myself work on me work on my future my career my businesses that I want to start establish and stuff like that so um, yeah, get my real estate license and go down that path, travel more. Are you living with your fiance or not until a marriage? Um, I would say we live together 80% of the time. Um, and then the other 20%, he still owns a place in the city um, that he stays, but also he Airbnbs it and you know, might rent it out so when that is being booked and um, rented out he spends most of his time with me so it's kind of like um you know it's been working great you know obviously we are getting married so it would be a good idea to kind of see what our dynamics are like when we live together i know some people don't actually move in together and live together until after marriage but then you start to find out things about this person that you don't like their cleanliness and all of that stuff so i think in this situation it works great for us because you know we are able to kind of work with each other and see how we function when we are in the same household together 80 percent of the time that he is here everything's good he cleans up after himself he cooks um i don't have to do anything we have housekeepers I don't have to cook I don't have to clean up after him um, so I definitely think that once we are fully a hundred percent living together under the same roof that we will get along great this is an interesting question will I still get an allowance once we are married um, absolutely <laughs> absolutely nothing changes while we are married okay if anything changes while we are married as a matter of fact i feel like i'm gonna have this in our prenuptial agreement if anything changes behavior wise spending wise all of that if you are no longer the man that you were while we were engaged before we signed paperwork i'm going to divorce you like in the year if i see like a change in spending not wanting to give me money not wanting to do this I'm gonna get a divorce like that would be silly for him to stop okay love bombing only happens to women who allow it I could never allow a man to love bomb me like <laughs> you're spending money from the day you meet me till the day that we are no longer going to be spending time together but you're spending money okay period <laughs> What are my manifesting for the next couple of years for the next couple of years I am manifesting a um, just a happy marriage obviously you know we grow together financially I hope that his business still continues to do well um, double triple because the more money he makes the more money I get the more gifts I get so I just hope that everything continues to just be you know happy and successful for him because it will reflect on how he treats me hopefully we have you know figured out if we want to be in a condo or in a house so we would be in our forever house um you know and we're just kind of growing and loving each other and um, traveling the world and um you know seeing different things and different cultures and just having a good marriage so that is just what i want to manifest for my future um for me and my husband to be um but yeah guys that is pretty much it for the life update i hope i answered all of your questions some of the questions were about sugaring and how to do that that had nothing to do with me those were not life update questions pertaining to me um if you have sugaring questions 
subscribe to my website google lifestyle diaries book a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me but as of a life update that is pretty much all i have to share with you guys if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok subscribe to my website book a one-on-one -on -one phone call all of that good stuff um it was a nice catching up with you guys and i will see you guys on the next video bye it's for eric you love when i share it let's talk about frankie i love when he's banging you know what i'm on cheers for gerald i'm